I'm Brian from Green Hat Kiteboarding. I'm going to go over today the uh, different bags of travel with the Nobile split boards. Uh, first off, all the split boards, they come with this little sleeve here. Uh, it's mostly designed to protect the board. Uh, it's super thin. Uh, it'll fit the board and you can fit the foot straps inside here. Uh, it'll protect it from scratches. Uh, so they've developed these other bags here. Uh, first, we're going to start off with the Easy Bag. Uh, this is the smallest of the bags. It's 33 by 18 by 6 inches. Uh, it's designed for the NHP 130, 134, 138 board. The check-in bag, uh, this is 35 and a half by 19 by 8 inches. Uh, this will hold the, uh, the flying carpet and the split foil board. Um, then the biggest bag here is the master bag. It's 43 and a half by 18 by 6 inches. Um, this bag is slightly over the maximum size that you can travel with, so you possibly could be charged for an overage fee, but it's a lot less likely traveling with this than with a full surfboard bag. Uh, the total linear inches is 67, when most airlines are restricted to 62, uh, so you're just slightly over. This is the easy bag here. Uh, it's the smallest of the bags. It's pretty lightweight, easy to travel with. Um, Inside here we have a 12 meter kite, we have the bar, the pump, a harness, a uh, board with the foot straps. Uh, it fits, no problem, uh, but you're not going to be able to travel with more than one kite unless it's like a 7 and 9 meter kite maybe. Um, we did do a video on that. Uh, we fit a 7 and a 9 meter in, but we're not able to fit a pump. Um, with uh, traveling wise, it's got a handle up here, it's got a handle on the side. It's got a shoulder strap here. It's also got backpack straps. They can tuck in here. So if you're not using them or you check it on the airplane, you can tuck the straps in. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty simple to carry. Total weight's 32 pounds. Next we have the check-in bag. Uh, this is again for the flying carpet, the infinity split foil board. Um, or you can put the NHP if you're looking to travel with big kites, more kites. Uh, inside here right now we have a 17 meter kite, a 12 meter kite, the bar, the pump, the harness, and a board. Um, and our total weight for that was 37 pounds. Um, it's got a handle here. It's got a handle on the side here. It's got, another sh it's got a shoulder strap. We've got backpack straps on this that tuck in. And on this bag, we actually have wheels. Uh, it's a little unique. They were mounted on the side of the bag as opposed to the back of the bag here. Um, but we actually found it's pretty pretty cool to travel with it on the side here. You know, easy to handle, maneuver around. Um, this is probably one of our most common bags because it's still within airline regulations and you can fit, you know, two kites and all your gear, maybe a wetsuit too. We also have the master bag. Uh, this is the biggest bag. Uh, if you travel with the split surfboard, this is definitely the bag you're gonna want. Uh, you can put any of the other boards in here, they'll fit, but it's gonna be slightly over the regulation limit of 62 linear inches. It's uh, about 67, uh, so you possibly could get charged, but it's much smaller than a regular golf bag. Um, Inside here we have the split surfboard, we have a 17 meter kite, 12 meter kite, the bar, a pump, a harness. To travel with it, it's got a handle up here, it's got a handle on the side, we've got a shoulder strap, we got the backpack straps that tuck in, and then this has your standard wheels in the back with these protectors here, very similar to our standard golf bags. Um, total weight on this, uh, with all the gear, is 45 pounds, so you're not over the weight limit either. Um, all these bags uh, have padding on the sides and the back of them, but there's no padding on the front. So you want to put your board towards the back or anything that can get damaged towards the back. The sides are protected, and then we usually put the harnesses and the kites towards the front here. They can't get damaged as easily. So if you're traveling with a Split board, these are the three bags you're probably going to want to travel with. It's going to make your travel the easiest. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call or leave a comment below and we'll get back to you.